Nika, and I'm in the library. Most of the time, we wear our masks to help keep people healthy. But I'm in a locked room all by myself for a few minutes so that I could share a draw and tell. I love drawing and I love telling stories. We're really lucky to live here in Treaty 6 territory. It's a place where people have gathered to listen and tell stories since time immemorial. People have always told stories here, and there have been many nations that have called this place home. It's also the homeland of the Métis. I thought I would tell you a story that has a little bit of a connection to Saskatoon today. I love the Mawasan Trail. I love riding my bike and going for walks. I love looking at the trees and the animals in every season. So I have a little story about an animal today. And this little animal liked to go for very long walks around the park. And when it was done, it would get tired, curl up in a ball, and go to sleep. Now you know, after a long walk and a big nap, sometimes you want a big chump of something to eat. So our little creature went out to find something and they took a great big bite. Now after their snack, they went for another long walk across the park. A little bit later that day, it started to storm. There was lightning, whoosh, whoosh, and thunder, boom, 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 and the pitter-patter of rain. Pitter-patter, 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 pitter-patter. Well, the storm was a little bit scary. So our little friend rolled up into an even smaller ball and hid in the trees. Now when they woke up, they peeked out to see if they could find something yummy to eat. They took a deep breath and it smelled really nice because the rain freshened everything up and they looked out of the tree and they could see mushrooms. Mm. Delicious mushrooms. Now you have to be really, really careful about mushrooms. We can't just go out and eat mushrooms, but animals are really smart and they know which berries and which tree bark and which mushrooms and which fruits are healthy for their bellies. And our little creature saw some berries too and thought, mmm, I'm going to get myself something really, really yummy to eat. Do you know what kind of creature it is? that sometimes hides in the trees on the Mawasan Trail, well, just off the trail. Sometimes there are porcupines. We can get ideas for stories all over the place. And I got this idea from a website by a woman called Linda Muse, and she made this up in July of 2012. She wanted to tell a story that she could draw. And she found a website made by Jan Brett that was about how to draw a hedgehog. So she told a little story about a hedgehog. We don't have hedgehogs living here in Saskatoon, but sometimes there are porcupines right here in the city. I hope you explore our world and do some drawing too and maybe you can come up with a really fun story. Thanks for watching.